Hayato Haitani was a corporate slave. He wanted to be involved in the film industry, which he loved, so he got a job at a distribution company, but he didn't have any special skills. He only had the physical strength he had cultivated in the sports club, so he spent his days being used by people. Then, one day... Hey, hey, Tani. Yeah? What is it, Yajima-san? This is Yajima, his senior at work. He's the first one who started picking on Heitani. Go buy some Minadori, the limited edition of the convenience store in front of the station. What? I just get it from the convenience store downstairs. It's not like he could tell him that. I'll go right now. He went to the store on his senior's order. On the way there, he got into an accident. And he woke up in another world. Where am I? I was in an accident. Does that mean this is a hospital? No, but the view from the window is strange. The atmosphere of this building doesn't look Japanese either. It's like a movie set turned into reality. Oh, I see. This is what heaven is like. Hitani accepted his death more easily than expected. But then he noticed something strange about his body. Huh? My voice sounds strange. Wait, is this my hand? It's like a baby. What? I'm, I'm a baby? Wait, is this mum and dad when they were young? Oh, he looks healthy as usual. Yeah. Hitani looked at the adult, smiling kindly at him, and thought of his own parents. I'm sure my dad and mum are grieving right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's wrong, Gray? <laughs> well, a child's job is to cry after all. You're right. Cry a lot, eat a lot, and grow up well. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Heitani doesn't know if this is heaven or the otherworldly reincarnation that's all the rage right now. The only thing is, he promised himself that he would definitely be filial this time. Heitani was to live in another world under the name Ray. I thought my memory as Hayato Heitani would disappear as I grew up, but I still remember everything. It's a strange thing. His parents were happy because it was easy to raise him because of that. I had a hard time reading and writing because it wasn't Japanese, but calculation was the same rule with different symbols, so it wasn't bad. I naturally got better grades than the other kids and thanks to that, I was able to pass the entrance exam at the Royal Guards, even though I was from a humble background. Don't push yourself too hard. Be careful out there. <laughs> that won't help out as a knight. But... Don't forget that we're wishing for your happiness. Dad. Mum. I'm sure they wished that for me when I was Hayato too. And yet, I... Thanks, Dad. Mum. I'll make sure I rise to the top and make things easy for you two. Grey. And so, Grey departed for the capital. When Grey went to the location where the knights were grouped, he found a bunch of young men, similar in age to him. They were all really fit, since they were chosen as knights. Wait, there's one person who looks really... young. His face is hidden by a mask worn by the southern tribesmen. He was so small that he looked to be only about 15 years old. Is he seeing someone off? Hey, small one. Uh. I'm talking to you. Don't tell me that you're going to join the knighthood with your small size. And what if I am? <laughs> no way. No, maybe you could at least serve as a lackey for Arrow-san. What do you think? No thanks. Can't you just take care of yourself? You'll never make it in the Royal Guard. What did you just say? Stop! Who are you? Oh, I got involved. I was in that position in the village, so out of habit. He's so big and intimidating. Just like Yajima-san. You want him to be your servant too? Oh, no, I... Alright, battle me here. What? Hey, 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 it's time to meet. What? Are you scared? 
It's, it's not that. Once we join the group, we'll have plenty of opportunities to fight. There's no need to make a bad impression by fighting here, is there? Shut up! Oh, there's no choice. Gray held up his sword and dodged Arrow, who jumped at him, and cut the straps of his boots with a small stone he was carrying. In the blink of an eye, Arrow fell to the ground. What happened? <laughs> You're just a big guy. Are you okay? Yeah. That's enough. What? What's your name? Gray. I see. Gray, your movement was superb. And you deserve credit for not going into a fight so easily. What? I'm sorry I'm late. I'm Yuka, second in command of the Royal Guard. What? what? That small man was the vice commander of the Royal Order of Knights. The earlier exchange with the man named Arrow was just a sideshow for the newcomers, and the knights were actually supposed to help Yuka out. Which means I did something unnecessary. But moreover, I had a bad feeling when I found out that Arrow, who looks just like Yojima Senpai, was a senior member of the knighthood. Continue to work hard from here. It, yes. It's amazing how he's the vice commander despite his size. Huh. <laughs> That guy's no big deal. You're overdoing it. Even if it's just an act, a member of the Royal Order shouldn't pull out a sword so easily. Yeah. Damn. I've been humiliated by this Grey. I'm gonna train him hard. And so Grey got off to a somewhat disturbing start as a member of the Royal Order of Knights. My impression of joining the Royal Order was similar to club activities during my freshman year of high school. Laundry for all the nights, cleaning the seniors' rooms, and training hard. The few breaks I had were spent being scolded by the seniors. I remember this feeling. It's a lot better than when I was a corporate slave, though. You, what are you grinning for? I'm, I'm sorry. I guess it's because I have memories of my previous life that makes me feel that way. Eh, I can't do this anymore. What are you talking about? We just started. I say that because I've only just started. We have 18 years to go until we reach the retirement age of 36. It's still the first year. I'm sure it'll get easier. During those 18 years, Aosan will be here for 17 years. It's going to be tough all the way, though. Ah, but there were guys like this in the company, too. They quit after the first year. Next year, we'll be in their shoes. Let's hold our ground so that our juniors won't feel the same way as we do now. Grey, yeah, you're right. I think I can be strong, if I think like that. Yeah. Deputy Commander Yuka watches as Grey comforts his colleague. He's quite a guy with a lot to offer. He might be able to handle that role very well. The next day, Grey received a call from Deputy Commander Yuka. Excuse me, um, I heard you wanted to see me? Yes, I have a new assignment for you. A new... assignment? That's right. I want to appoint you to my inner circle. Yuka-san? Yuka-san often goes on business trips not only to work within the Order, but also for meetings with other agencies. It must be pretty hard, but I'm glad he takes a liking to me. Can I ask you for that? Yes, I'll do my very best. Yeah. And so, Ray became a member of Yuka's entourage. There was one guy who didn't think well of it. How did a first year rookie end up in Yuka's inner circle? I'm better than him, damn. And one day, Gray was in Yuka's room, putting away some papers. Hey, Gray, Yuka-san wants you to come to the bathroom. What? Maybe he ran out of soup or something. Oh, I see. Thank you for coming all the way here. Watch out. <laughs> he fell for it. Mr. Yuka hates to be helped with the bath. Yuka-san doesn't even allow other members of the group to enter when he's using the bath. If Grey shows up there without being invited. <laughs> That's strange. There was soap when I cleaned during the day. Yuka-san, excuse me. What? The person in the bathroom had a hot water cloth wrapped around their body. It was a woman. I'm, I'm so sorry. You saw... Uh, I'm, I'm very sorry. Now that you know the secret, 
I can't let you stay alive. Uh, am I going to die here? I haven't had the chance to show my filial piety yet. Uh, please, not my life. I'm not going to kill you for something like that. But I'll definitely get expelled from the Order. Now that I know the true identity of Yuka-san, who pretended to be the other gender, maybe I'll be on duty cleaning the basement of the castle. Dad, Mom, I'm sorry. I guess I'm not going to move up in the world this time either. As long as you live, I, the third princess Yuka, command you to be guard. What? The third princess? It was indeed the same name as the third princess of this country. But Yuka was both a common name for men and women in this country, so I didn't question it. I can't believe it was the same person. I can't believe it, but there's no way the sub-commander would make such a disrespectful joke. Um, uh, how did you become the vice commander of the Royal Knights? That. Normally, the vice commander of the Royal Order of Knights was the role of the king's son, the second or third son. But no son was born to Yuka's father, who was the current king and the mother, and it was decided that the throne would be taken by the eldest daughter. And the second daughter was more interested in fashion than training her body and her brain. So Princess Yuka, who was a tomboy at heart, was made vice captain. But my mother worried about me joining the order, which was full of men. If you insist on joining the royal order, you will have to dress as a man. People will find out one day. In the meantime, you need to find a trustworthy member of the Order and make him your guard. I see. I understand. That's how. I see. Do the other senior members know about this? No. Only the commander and the other deputy commander knows. And Arosan? I don't think he knows. I see. That's why. What? That's why he told me to go to the bath. I'm sure Arosan would never do something like make someone peek into a woman's bath. Huh? I'm going to make them regret using me as a tool to bully their junior. What? After this, Arrow was demoted to a remote village. How dare you do this to me? I hope for nothing more than the downfall of the Royal Knights. So, I became the princess's bodyguard and a senior member of the Order. At one point, I thought I was going to be fired. It's my second life, but you never know what's going to happen. At first, I was surprised to see Yuka-san dancing with the ladies of other countries at the ball, but she was a lady in her own right. After she took me as her guard, she told the group that she was the third queen. At first, the members were quite surprised, but after revealing her status as a princess, they've come to respect her more and more for the way she trains every day. But the peaceful moments crumble with the sound of horses' hooves. Suddenly, the enemy invaded. They attacked where border security was then. How did they know? I can only assume there was a member of the Order who told them where to place the guards. Who would do that? Speaking of near the border, there's a village where Arosan went after getting demoted. Could it be? I'm thinking the same thing. What? Someone, bring Arrow here. I don't know what you're talking about. You've no proof, dear. I suspect that you're only suspicious of me because you weren't sure of your own selection. Arrow son, how dare you? Huh? You've got some nerve standing up to me. <laughs> What's the use of being praised by a woman? I see. You and I have never fought before, have we? I won't go easy on you just because you're a princess. Let's do it. Yuka-san is insanely strong. Arrow-san, who didn't know that, was taken down in an instant. Yuka-san, please, wait. What? How about using him to tell full security? I see. This operation worked, and 80% of the enemy soldiers were captured by the Royal Knights in ambush. Thanks to your ingenuity, what would you like as a reward? Thank you for your kind words, but if my wish were to be granted, a new home for my mother and father. What? Is that what you want? Y yes. I want to repay the debt of gratitude for bringing me up. How heartfelt. What are you sulking about, Yuka? Because 
That's where he was supposed to say, make the princess my wife. But Gray, he probably doesn't even think of you as a woman. She's right. I haven't been acting like one. Does that mean Gray doesn't think anything of me? What about you, Yuka? What? Did you want that knight to ask you to marry him? What? well... Oh my! I have to make some red rice! Better yet, you need to go on a date. I'll dress you up. I don't want either. Princess Yuka said so, but as expected, the vice commander was no match for her sister, and she was made up pretty and went on a date with Grey under the guise of a preview for his parents' new house. Y y yuka san What? Oh no, I just got nervous because you look prettier than usual. What? Should we go then? Yeah. Wow, such a great house, my dad and mum. Thank you. The kitchen is nice too. Yes. Oh, um... What? No, it felt for a second like we we're a newlywed couple. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. Do you want to take a bath? Or have dinner? Or... Do you want to marry me? What? What? You don't want to? N not at all. I'm, I don't know anyone else in the world as beautiful as you, Yuka-san. You're too good for me. Oh my god. What is that? I'm saying I want you. All you have to say is yes. Y yes. And so, they were to be together for many years to come. Uh, what? Is... is this the hospital? Hayato. Hayato, it's Dad. Can you tell? Oh, God. I wake up and my parents were crying. I had an accident and was rushed to the hospital where I was unconscious for three days. Oh, that was a dream. I'm glad I didn't make my parents sad, but if it was a dream, I wish I could have at least seen myself getting married to her. When my parents called the company, my boss and Yajima-san came over, and Yajima-san apologized to me crying. I can't forgive everything, but it was a little heartwarming to see Yajima-san regretting using me. That was such a realistic dream. Good evening. My name is Takashima, and I take care of the night shifts. Oh, hello. Nice to meet you. I'm glad you're okay. Thank you. Wait. I was surprised when I saw the nurse's face and name. Yuka Takashima was written on her nameplate, and she looked just like Miss Yuka. Let's work hard together for your rehab. Y yeah. I can't marry a princess, and I hurt all over, but I felt like I could do my best after hearing those words from her. When I recover enough to leave the hospital, I'm thinking of telling the nurse, at Takashima-san, about that mysterious dream. Thank you so much for watching! I hope you enjoyed the video! If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos! See you all next time! Bye bye!